Okay, so to continue on from the previous lesson, what I want you to do is press the 3 key to go to the right view and press the period key on your numpad to home in on everything. Press the A key to deselect. Click on the tail of this bone and click on this green arrow to extend this bone out a bit. We're going to understand how this bone's position is treated differently when it comes to bone rolls. So what I want you to do first is press the C key and go ahead and select all these bones over here and go ahead and select all these bones over here. Right click to cancel. Now we're going to have to zoom in, do shift middle mouse button and just rotate a bit so we can select this bone. So press the shift key down and add this bone to the selection and also add this bottom bone to the selection. So what we've done is we've selected all the bones on the Y and Z plane. If we press the one key, we can see that this is what we've done. So when you do the middle mouse button and take a close look at what is going on with the Z axis, you can see that they are perfectly aligned with the Y and a Z plane. Now press the three key and zoom out. What I want you to take a special note of here is how the Z axis is always pointing in the same direction when the bone is being rotated perfectly on the Y and Z plane. Okay? Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and take a look at this bone. Okay? Now, when we click on the tail of this bone, and misalign it so it's no longer aligned to the X and Y plane. I'm talking about this plane that is visually being represented by this grid. You can see that the bone roll is at zero. Now if we click on this blue arrow and misalign it going in this direction, the bone roll is at zero. Now if we align the tail and the head of this bone perfectly to the X and Y plane by simply going over here doing control C on the Z and doing control V, the bone roll is at zero. Notice that the Z axis is always pointing up. When we click on this bone, we can see that when we click on the tail of this bone and misalign this bone so it's no longer aligned to the X and Y plane, when we press the three key over here, you can see that the bone roll is at a zero. When we click on this a blue arrow and misalign it down like this, the bone roll is at a zero. Now, when we align the tail and the head perfectly to the X and Y plane, by simply going over here, doing control a C and do control a V, you will notice that the Z axis will point up. Okay, so just take a special note of the position of the rotation of the bone in edit mode when it is perfectly aligned with the Y and Z axis and the X and Y axis or the planes that this is how the bone behaves okay so meaning that if you look at this bone it points down the z axis points down but here the z axis is pointing up so if you are aligning this bone and you want to have the same behavior as these bones you can simply click on the tail and just slightly misalign it away from the x and y plane now when you come over here type in a zero the bone will behave normally okay so that's what that is now we're going to understand why does this bone point up okay so the thing about this is has to do with the x and y plane all bones that are perfectly aligned horizontally right to this x and y plane the z axis will always point up you can see that the z axis is pointing up here and the z axis is also pointing up here so what we're going to do is press the one key first okay now before we can understand this what we're going to do is press the c key and go ahead and select all of these bones and select all these bones 
Press the right key to get out of it. Go ahead and zoom in. Do shift middle mouse button and of course select this bone and select this bone. Now if you take a look at the bones that we've selected, we selected all the bones on the X and Z plane. So when we press the 3 key, we can see how the Z axis is behaving. Okay, so to understand this concept, all we have to do is click on this bone. This bone is perfectly aligned with the Y in a Z plane. Now if we go ahead and select on this bone, you can see that how the Z axis is turning. It's turning, it's turning, and now it's perfectly aligned to the X and Y plane. Now notice what's going to happen over here. It's now again turning, 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 and now again it wants to align itself to the Y and Z plane. This is why it behaves this way, okay? And all the bone rolls on all these bones is set to zero. So you just have to understand in visually how internally this bone roll concept works when you're working with bones in edit mode. Now we're going to press the 1 key, press the A key to deselect, press the C key and go ahead and just select these three bones, select on these three bones, select on these three bones and select on these three bones. Right click to get out of it. Just do shift D to duplicate it, press the 3 key, press the R key, press the control key and rotate this by 90. So all these bones are now aligned to the X, Y plane. So when we do Alt R, you will notice that if you press the three key, all the Z axis are pointing up. Okay, so now do the middle mouse button. So what we're going to do now is include this bone over here into the selection. Now let's go ahead and include this bone in the back into the selection and include this bone into the selection. Okay, so the only bone that we didn't include was this bone that we extended. Now if we click on it, you'll see that the Z axis is pointing down. Okay, remember this is the last bone that we've selected, means that we're looking at its properties over here. So you can see that if we want this bone to behave just like these bones, we have two choices. We can come in over here and type in 180 and it will point up, but if you don't want to do that, that what you can do is simply hover your mouth, do control C on Z and do control uh, V. Now you'll see that Y it points up, okay? The reasoning behind it. Basically in this area over here, when it comes to rotating your bones in edit mode, this position is just handled differently. That's all you really need to understand about this concept, okay? So anyways, this is how this idea works in bone rolls. So what I want you to do is just select a bone, doesn't matter which one it is, and switch to pose mode, do shift S and do cursor to uh, select it. Now go ahead and switch to edit mode, and you're going to do shift A to add a new bone, click on this blue arrow and extend this bone out. This is so we can see how this concept of bone rolls needs to be understood now, okay? So each bone, when you add it, is always going to behave in this way. So meaning that if we press the R key, actually I'm going to, what I'm going to do is select this bone and let's switch this to the 3D cursor. It'll make it easier to look at the axis because it's highlighted. You can see that when we press the R key two times and just press the shift key down to kind of rotate it slowly a bit if you want. Let's say that if we align this bone close to this Y and Z plane, right? When we do Alt R, you'll see that how the Z axis is trying to align itself when it comes close to these planes, that's all that's going on. So if we press the R key two times and let's say bring this bone over here, right? When we do Alt R, you'll see that what this bone is doing, right? It's trying to align itself again because it's coming closer and closer to the Y and Z plane. That's all this is. So now when we press the R key two times and let's say bring this bone closer over here to uh, the X and Y plane, when we do Alt R, you'll see that it's pointing up. Okay, that's how this concept works. So what exactly does this mean? Okay, so if you press the R key, just rotate it this way. What this simply means is again the same thing is Blender just asking you how do you want to work with your bones in pose mode, right? 
that's all this is but here I just want you to understand internally what's going on because if you click on the tail of this bone and just position the view like this and press the E key to extrude right you'll see that how this bone behaves right so when you park it over here let's say if we extrude another one out all these bones are going to behave the same way so to understand this concept what we're going to do is actually switch to object mode and click on this circle thing that we've created just do shift D to duplicate it right click to cancel and remove the location press the one key now press the G key and put the origin point on the head of this bone press the three key press the G key and put it right over here you can do the same thing for this one do shift D and put it over here press the one key and make sure that it's on the head and now I'm just gonna press the S key to scale actually we have to get out of the 3d cursor do median point press the S key and I'm just gonna scale it down so uh, we can make sense out of this click on this press the S key and do this so now when we are in edit mode on these bones we can see that oh, okay so when we are rotating these bounds right we can see that the how the bone roll is changing right this is only changing is because it's, it's basically uh, uh, trying to keep the axis aligned based on your rotations but when let's say if you bring this bone over here click on it do alt R you'll see that it's doing the same exact thing right it's trying to again align with the Y in a Z plane that's all this is okay so this is how you have to think about how bones work internally so here now you understand how this concept of the bone roll works okay so what we're going to do now is go ahead and do shift C to place the 3d cursor over here okay now do shift a so now you know that without this thing you can simply just figure it out right visually or you can simply add these circular things if you need to understand exactly what's going on okay now remember these circles that we put over here are just a visual representation of the armatures axis right the, their planes so this means that we have to click on this one press the shift key on click on this one and this one and just to see how this works visually we would have to click on the armature in the end in the outliner and do control P and do object right because when you are on the armature in object mode and when you press the R key press the Z key everything moves with it okay so be aware of this concept over here this will always be aligned to the armatures axis okay anyways what I want you to do is now go ahead and click on the armature and switch to edit mode on this so what I want you to do is now press the 7 key to go to the top view and place the 3d cursor over here okay now you will notice that if we click on the tail of this bone and press the R key okay let's say we rotate it like this and where this 3d cursor is we can actually click it anywhere notice where the Z axis is pointing if we click on the body of this bone and now do control N we're gonna get a bunch of options that have to do with recalculate roll here you can see it says cursor when you do this the Z axis will always point to where the 3d cursor is right over here we do control N cursor that's what it's doing so you can use this concept to point the bone exactly where you want it to based on where the 3d cursor is that's all this is okay now when you do view axis this is based on how you're viewing the bone so if we let's say view the bone like this where the Z axis is pointing in this direction when we do control N when you do view axis the Z axis is going to point towards us see how it just changed so this is a, another technique that you can use when you are working with bone rolls okay now here I've shown you that when you do control R to change the bone roll you can just twist 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 and make this go into the thousands right like this do left click now when you do control N you can actually do active bone and it'll just fix it for you but it will not change the uh, bone roll right I mean the alignment of the bone we do control N active bone now another way you can use this concept is that you can click on the tail press the E key to extrude 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 in really weird ways however you want to 
then click on all these bounds the last one that you have selected and just a position or change the role to how you want it okay over here now when you do control n and do active bound all the bounds will align to how this bounds z axis is pointing see the z z over here how they point in this direction basically it's kind of like a nice uh, 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 gradient concept right slowly slowly it's just doing that that's how this works now what we're going to do is click on this 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 X and delete now what I want you to do is actually uh, just leave this over here and press the R key to just rotate the bone like this click on the body of this bone now we're going to do control N we're going to understand these concepts they're very easy to understand here it's all about where the z-axis is pointing right so if I say okay do Y you'll notice that the z-axis is pointing towards the global y-axis this green line see that is what it's doing over here now when we uh, position it kind of like this do control N and we say Z the z-axis is pointing towards the global z-axis right now when you do uh, X it might not make sense it's because the bone is positioned but here it's actually pointing in its opposite direction towards this red line but if you put it like this over here uh, click this do control N and do X you'll see that the Z axis is pointing towards this red line that's all that's going on so if I can uh, position it over here do control N and do X you'll see that that's what it's doing that's all that is okay so here you can have you have options to either point uh, the z-axis towards the X like this over here I'm gonna press the period key to home in on this or you can do it the opposite direction right so here we can do minus X now the, the opposite end is pointing towards here that's all that is now to in order to use this you have to have a parent child relationship so what I want you to do is go ahead and click this press the R key to just kind of rotate it this way over here and now press the E key to extrude this bone and just place it somewhere like this now you'll notice that when you click on this bone how the Z axis is so when you do control N and choose local Z tangent it's basically a 90 degree see how the Z axis is now 90 degrees to this bound when you do X now the X is 90 degrees to this bound in the same way when you click on this do control N and do a Z the Z axis is now 90 degrees to this bound it's just a tangent if you want to have a better understanding of this you can just just do stick so all this is so if you click on the tail of this bone and rotate it this way click over here if we want to this Z axis to be tangent to this all you do is this see now it's 90 degrees that's all that's going on so this is how all these concepts work right and that's it so what we're going to do is now go ahead and just save this file file save as and I'm just going to save this as bone concepts 15 dot blend so I'll see you in the next lesson thank you